Today I'll be unboxing the March of 2024 Crafty Courtyard Kit from Pink and Main and also sharing how to make a full panel shaker card. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm unboxing the Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard Kit for March of 2024. The Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard Kits are one of the monthly subscription products. And the kits are an amazing value and are packed full of card making supplies. So when you subscribe to the kits on the Pink and Main website, it will be shipped around the 15th of the month. But you can still sign up and purchase the kits through the end of the month. Um, unless it sells out, of course. So you definitely, if you want to get in on, <laughs> on a certain month's kit, you definitely want to sign up um, before the 15th if you can. Um, but an additional benefit of being a subscriber is that you receive a 10% discount off of other products in the store, which is awesome. Um, this is the first month where the discount has changed to 10% before it was 15, but Pink and Main did not want to increase their prices. So I still think it's awesome that they even offer a discount, but the subscription products are full of card making supplies and this month's Crafty Courtyard Kit is special because it is Pink and Main's 10th birthday. They've been around for 10 years and they've had the Crafty Courtyard Kits for five years. So that's what's so awesome about um, this particular kit is because it is a celebration. It's called Special Day. It comes with a sheet that includes a list of everything that's included in the kit along with the color palette. And then down at the bottom, it has the hashtag Crafty Courtyard. So if you want to share your creations on social media, others can see your work and be inspired. And then on the back, it also has some card sketches. And we'll talk more about card sketches, but this is just to kind of get your creative juices flowing. So the kit comes with six sheets. I believe it's six. So it actually has five sheets of the card stock, the um, 80 pound card stock that um, Pink and Main sells in packs and it's really high quality card stock. It's really thick. You could use it for card bases or for other things. And then it also comes with this beautiful pink foil card stock along with two sheets of ice ring card stock and that's also heavyweight. So let's go ahead and open up this zipper. Um, it comes with, a, every kit comes with a zippered project pouch, which is awesome. I, I use these for almost everything to store stuff in. And this is the pick up and place tool. Now this is new this month and I'm going to go ahead and open this up so you can see what, um, what this is. So there's two replacement wax tips. I don't want to lose these, <laughs> but, um, one end has a little pokey tool on it so you can easily maybe pick up your embellishments or remove the adhesive backing from some, you know, double-sided tape. And then the other end is a wax tip and that's just sticky so that you can, I'll show you, so you can pick up, so you can pick up embellishments. All right, and then, uh, like I said, two replacement tips. Now, I've already lost one. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Okay, so that's the first thing that's special about this. Let me put this back in here because I do not want to lose these replacement tips. Awesome. I'm super, super excited about this tool. All right, let me move that out of the way. So I'll show you this in a minute. This has um, an exclusive sequin mix, which contains the flat round sequins, plus some stars and then some embossed ones. Um, just a great collection of gold. It looks like there's some darker shades in there as well. Um, some sequins. And then there's also some sticky gems. And these are like rhinestones and they have a, a adhesive on the back. And these are all in the colors of the color palette in this kit. And this also comes with an A2 small shaker cover. And this is three and three quarter by five inches. So you could actually put this on top of an A2 size card. Let me kind of show you how this works. So there is some protective film on here and that pickup tool is really helpful to remove this, but um, you would remove this protective film and then these are the adhesive. You just remove the adhesive 
bend this over, add your add your stuff, and then stick it direct, directly on the card. And it looks like there is a pack of 10, which is awesome. And I'll have to show you um, a card or two at the end of this video of some cards that I make with that. And then this kit also includes this stamp set, and this is called Special Day. And it includes some balloons. Let me turn it this way so you can see the balloons. It comes with some funky candles, all in different um, designs, a stack, uh, a cake that's stacked up with some fruit, and then a stack of presents. And then three sentiments, celebrate, happy birthday to you, and make a wish. And then it also comes with the coordinating dies, and it also cuts out the sentiments, which I think is great. And then last but not least, let's talk about the paper pad. Now this is called Colorful Ink Spots. And let me tell you, I absolutely love working with alcohol inks. And this reminds me so much of the things that you can do with alcohol inks. I will tell you, I have a bunch of alcohol inks, but I never get them out because they're always so messy. So now I can create some beautiful cards using this paper and I don't even have to get my inks out. So that's cool. These are the, just the different designs that's in this paper pad. Now there are 12 different designs. So there's 24 sheets total to each of um, the 12 designs. But I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. Super excited about making cards with this kit. And I'm looking forward to sharing those with you soon. So pretty. And the colors. I just love these colors. Ooh, I love the pink and the teal together. Now, I don't know if we've made it back to the beginning or not. Maybe not. Let me see what we started with. Oh, we still got a couple more. Now I think we're back to the beginning. No? I'll just flip through them all again because I actually think that might be the first one. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's just go through the rest. Such pretty papers. Okay. Maybe they're just turned around so that they look different. That's probably what it is. All right, so like I said, 24 sheets, and these are heavyweight cardstock. It's not like thin paper, so that's one thing that I love about the Pink and Main paper pads. So not only do you get a big stamp set with coordinating dies, this big old paper pad, six by six paper pad, you get sticky gems, you get the exclusive sequin mix, plus these A2 small shaker covers, pack of 10, and the pickup tool. This is an amazing value. If you want to subscribe, there's a link down in the description box that it is an affiliate link, which means if you make a purchase, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. And that helps to support my channel. Head on over to the Pink and Main website to subscribe and also check out their other subscription products. They have a Foil of the Month subscription kit and a Stamp of the Month subscription. You can get the stamp or the stamp and coordinating dies. So there's some really fabulous products available. As mentioned before, the Crafty Courtyard kits are an amazing value. If you were to purchase each of these items individually, it would cost more than $90. So you can't beat the price of $34.99 plus shipping. So head on over to Pink and Main and subscribe before this sells out. As I mentioned earlier, I will now show how to use the shaker pouches that come in the kit. Okay, so let's make a quick shaker card. Now, this packet says that you want to um, place this on top of a card panel that measures 3 and 5 eighths by 4 and 7 eighths. So that is what I'm going to cut this to three and five eighths, which is just slightly bigger than three and a half. And then this should be four and seven eighths, which is just a little bit smaller. Ooh, hold on. I want more of that red to show, so I'm gonna cut this off. So four and seven eighths. All right. And then this, I'll show you how this is gonna go. I want to make sure that I have cut this the right size. Yep. And so this is this is going to get wrapped around this piece, this panel here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a four by five and a quarter inch panel from this red. So that I 
can have some color and then that's going to go behind here and then I'm going to have a card base which I'll worry about here in a minute but let's go ahead and use this pokey tool to remove this protective film now I have not used this thing yet so I don't know if I can get my nail under it better no, I removed the sticker <laughs> Trying to remove this film took me way longer than it should have, so I'm speeding this up eight times so you don't have to suffer through it. I think um, even if I were to speed this up, <gasps> hey, guess what? I got it. Oh, it's on the it's on the adhesive too. That was my problem. Okay, it is on the adhesive. So if you look closely, you can see the difference. All right, so now I got it. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so this is the front, and then this is the back. Good to know. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this around. Bend these first, the bottom one and the two sides. I'm going to go ahead and adhere are the three sides so that I can just dump the stuff in the in the middle here. Um, so yeah, like so. And then I can just dump it from the top. All right, so I have my bone folder here. So I'm gonna remove this. Oh Lord, get that centered before I stick it down. Okay, is that centered? I can't tell. Let's go ahead and just do it. And then I'm gonna press down. Make sure that's good here, good. Yeah, that's all right. All right, so let's try the pokey tool. Oh, <gasps> sweet. I ain't gotta dig my nail in there and I can cut these things shorter. Because they, honestly, they get in the way. Okay. Now, now I've got those adhered to that. And then this is going to go on here. But I've got to fill it up with, well, I guess I should have pushed that down more. Oh, well. It'll be okay. It's a little bit crooked. But see, I've got a little bit of a border all the way around. And I'm going to add some of these shaker bits in here. Hmm, maybe I don't want to do it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm kind of stingy when it comes to sequence <gasps> yep <laughs> and this is why I don't go live guys I am I am a messy crafter and yeah things like this happen all the time you just don't see it because I edit it out oh lord all right well that's the great thing about having this pokey tool you can pick them up and stick them in there I ain't gonna do all that and we'll see if how many I can get in there with my nails in my fingers <laughs> oh man well if i can start doing this without having to do voiceovers and if you guys still watch me and subscribe because i'm kind of a hot mess should have done that first i'm trying to see if i have enough in there <laughs> i think i'm gonna add a little bit more okay so what i was saying is if i can master the art of basically talking to myself like I'm doing right now. I might have to start going live more. I have all the stuff to go live. I'm just kind of a chicken. So you guys are my test run of making a video without actually editing or doing a voiceover, I should say. I'll probably still have to edit this because of me taking like 15 minutes to figure out how to remove the, the thing, the adhesive or the film, I mean. 
I usually don't post videos longer than 20 minutes, so I'm going to speed up the rest of this video and explain what I'm doing. Now that the pouch is completely sealed, I'm adding quite a bit of glue to the back to attach it to that red panel, and then I'm attaching it to my card base. And I laid my Misty stamping platform on top of it while it dried. And then off camera, I colored the bunch of balloons with some Copic markers, and I'm just gluing it on top of the pouch as well as the sentiment that says celebrate. And then to finish off the card, I added some pink and main touch of gloss to make the balloon shiny. And this is my first shaker card made with the March of 2024 Crafty Courtyard Kit. I have a few more cards that I'll be making with this kit in an upcoming video, so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads or posts. I really hope you find this shaker tutorial helpful, and I hope you don't mind my real-time crafting for most of the video rather than my usual sped-up voiceover version. You'll have to let me know in the comments section which way you prefer, or just let me know you stopped by. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you'll join me again for future videos. Have a wonderful day!